He was the world's youngest professional skater and now is the first Filipino-American lead in a film directed by Jordan Peele. Meet Brandon Perea, and this is... How I got Jordan Peele to rewrite his script, Nope, to cast me in it. So I was acting for a long time and it took me a long time to book something. I didn't know what I was doing at the start, for sure. Like the first three years, I'm like just trying to figure everything out. This is a tough art form to really break into. So I remember my mom kind of just being like, Honey, I've never seen anything you've done. Can you show me? Because I don't know if you're good at this. And I was just like, dang. I was like, Mom, I know I can do this, I promise. And now I'm so stoked to be here in a Jordan Peele film to prove that I'm ready. It's great to have a major role in a Jordan Peele film that's on this scale. It's a privilege and I'm glad that I can represent uh, Filipinos and Puerto Ricans all around the world and I hope I do a great job at it and I hope that it can open up opportunities for more diverse actors in this industry and especially on this scale, we need it. It's late, we should have been like this a long time ago but I think this film will showcase what people have been missing in Hollywood for years and it's gonna make people want more of it, you know, so. Let's go, let's get some representation going. Pinoy Pride, let's go, I love it. So I play the role of Angel Torres and uh, he is an employee at Fry's Electronics and he is a heartbroken little lad who just went through like a tough breakup and is searching for purpose. And he encounters these two characters that are on a mission that he's intrigued in and wants to do anything to be a part of it. So I got an audition, I saw an email saying uh, an appointment for Brandon Perea, a self-tape audition for an untitled Jordan Peele project. And immediately I'm, one, nervous, because I get very nervous in auditions, to be honest. And also, I was glad it was a self-tape though, because I'm like, okay, ooh, at least I don't have to see anyone at first, and I can just kind of just do my thing, get, get a bunch of takes in. And then I remember reading the sides that I received for the audition, and they seemed very simple. And I was a little thrown off by that because I'm like, this is Jordan Peele. He's kind of a complex director, very detailed. So I was like, there has to be undertones here that I'm not seeing that I have to add. Me and my reader, my buddy Chibu Kemuche, who's also an actor, he helped me break down the script. And we were both sitting there hashing it out like, okay, so what if we did this to raise the stakes? What if he's running an underground cryptocurrency and they're talking in secret code? So we're just gonna ham it up, raise the stakes. And also the character seemed very happy-go-lucky and he's working at a retail store, just being like, hey, how you doing? Okay, yeah, can I help you, blah, blah, blah. And I was like, I normally don't receive that when I walk into a retail store. So I was like, I'm not gonna play it the happy-go-lucky lucky way I'm gonna go what I relate to from what I've experienced seeing I'm gonna be a little just hey yeah you need, you need anything nope okay yeah just yeah it's over there you know I was just like let me give that energy and uh, I guess Jordan loved that and he thought it was super funny so then I got the call back I was just like man hopefully I get the job if not you know it's just I, I feel good about that performance and you leave it and then I get another call back for an improv session with Jordan and uh, I remember he greeted me, he's just like, hey, Brent, how you doing? And we're on Zoom call, by the way, for both of these. And uh, he was saying, yeah, you know, I, uh, you ready to read? And I was like, oh, I thought this was just an improv session. He's like, well, you gotta see you, you know, or uh, read the sides again, because the character that you brought is just way different than what I wrote for. And I was like, oof. Okay, yeah, I mean, he's like, so I need to see it a couple ways, because to bring your character, I'd have to rewrite my entire script. And I was like, I'm probably not gonna get this part if it's if it's rewrite the entire script. I was like, oh man. Then he's like, that's what I'm gonna do. You know what's funny about working with Jordan Peele and Kiki Palmer? Them two together is a riot. They are so funny and Jordan laughs at literally anything Kiki does because shit, Jordan just loves Kiki. And we all love Kiki. Kiki makes us all laugh with anything she does, but especially Jordan. Like Kiki will just react and just sit here, just and then Jordan's like like he can't even watch. Like I think, I think Jordan might have been breaking more on the set than any of the actors work. He's just like cracking up behind the monitors and stuff. So, yeah, it's um, it's a riot working with them. It's the greatest treat, and they're also talented. They're also talented. I like to hear the roof talented. So it's just crazy to be around that energy, and they're just great humans, and that makes it even better. Respect them as artists, but more so respect them as humans too, and that's the pay, like the big payoff. Honestly, it's insane to me that I'm doing these interviews right now because this is what I utilize as fuel for me as an actor. I, I watch all my favorite actors uh, interviews, like even like Daniel. I, I learned so much from Daniel Kaluuya and it's crazy that I'm working with him now. So that's another thing too, like envision yourself sitting across from these people, you know, and make sure that you get yourself 
to a performance level where you feel like you can play tennis with acting back and forth with the people that you look up to. And that's what I did. I, I felt like I was working on my ability enough where I was comfortable to be seated across any actor ever. And usually when you're working with better actors, it makes the job easier. And that's what I've learned with working with someone like Daniel. Daniel is incredible. I looked up to him before, prior to this film and I learned a lot of how to navigate this industry by watching his interviews like this. I'm just so glad that that stuff's available to us. And just know if you're a Filipino actor trying to break into this industry, understand that there's more opportunity than there's ever been for actors right now. And it's an incredible time to start. There's so many opportunities like there's not just the one movie star now or like the the three movie stars it's tv is massive and that wasn't a big thing before and now there's films and also if you're not being casted in roles that you like write the role that you want yo one down this is brandon perea and this is me represented be sure to check out nope in theaters on an imax screen july 22nd go watch you need to watch it, it's built for theaters, it's built for the biggest screen. Go get a ticket now.